Well, good Monday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Oh, I love this. I absolutely positively love this because, you know, whenever there's questions in ego land, that's always a good thing. Is it me or has since we heard the all-star team that things have been kind of a little bit crazy in Philadelphia? And what's even crazier is A.J. Brown is now the voice of reason. You know, A.J. Brown kind of said, pump the brakes, you know, Miles Sanders on the whole uh, uh, all-star team. Now, keep in mind, football doesn't have an all-star. They have a Pro Bowl team, all pro. So maybe Miles Sanders was thinking baseball. I'm just saying. We don't have all-stars in football, but be that as it may, since that time of, you know, A.J. Brown saying, oh, I think we're going to be good and all that, but I don't know about an all-star team. We had these media partners of the Eagles come out with the 10 plays of Jalen Hurts in an OTA, and that has just start, you know, all of a sudden just gone and created a life of its own. When I got up this morning, Jalen Hurts was trending, as well as this um, sports tech show from Friday, where the guy basically said in 10, play, 10 plays, he had four incompletions, three sacks, and three interceptions or something like that. Um, A.J. Brown, over the last couple of hours, has actually gone through now, and A.J. Brown is defending Jalen Hurts, because that's his quarter. That's my quarterback. That's my teammate. If you say anything about him, it's not fair. Okay. So here's what A.J. Brown said. That practice stuff about Jalen Hurts is fake. Y'all tweet and bleat anything. Like, how do you get a sack on seven on seven and there aren't any rushers? I believe water is above us. Believe that, too. And make an article about that too. Water is above us? This app is crazy. Water is above us. Actually, let let me look at some. He's got 318 replies. Let me see some of the replies on this. Thank you so much, AJ Smith. People are really... Through it, though. Talk your shit. Let's see some more of them. Uh, Ignore the haters. Thanks, AJ. If Zach Wilson's rumors are true, okay. Uh, All right, so, all right, that's, let's see, more replies. I'm sorry, Zach Wilson, that's a whole nother ball of wax. People love to complain, even if they can't find something to complain about, they just plain make it up. Okay, I would run through a brick wall for this team. Uh, Let them know. Thank you for saying that, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so let's go to the videotape here of the guys who actually said this. This is their response. Let's start with you, Derek, and what exactly you said that you had heard. And let's put this in context because sometimes people take a quote that they see rather than listening to the entire soundbite and reacting. So go, the floor is yours. So, so, so what did I tell you guys? Twitter, Twitter, is Satan. Okay, basically, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter is Satan. So basically, all I said was I was informed. Now, any first of all, anybody who knows me over the last twenty-five years in this region knows I don't put something out there unless I got it in, a, in a, an authoritative comment correct i think we can all agree on correct that. i would agree with that yeah okay so all i said basically was i was told at one, at one practice jason jason uh, i mean uh, jalen hurt struggled and they weren't doing 11 on 11s it was like seven or sevens but you know it basically was the equivalent of three interceptions three sacks and three incompletions okay or yeah four four incompletions three sacks whatever adds up to 10 i can't remember you know man this new math killing me that's all i said and i'm not surprised that once it hit social media, people took all with it and ran with it in a hundred different directions. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna back up from what I said. I said it. Mm-hmm. It's out there. If, if if and the thing is, it's on tape. You can go watch our show, Sports Take from Friday, and hear exactly what I said. I'm not gonna back up from it. But people took it. Well, they weren't doing 11 on 11s, and they weren't doing this, and they weren't. I just said it. We all know it's a controlled environment. I basically said it added up to the equivalent of these things. But see, once again, people hear what they want to hear. But that's all right because people are trying to get you know oh, that's clickbait. Don't believe it. Yeah, okay. When, uh, uh, there are a lot of people in our media that do things and say things for clickbait only. And I'm not saying any names. Mm-hmm. If you're smart enough in the Philadelphia region, you know who they are. I don't do that. If you look at my Twitter line up and down for the last 10 years, you don't see me throwing clickbaits out there. Okay. So you get that out of your mind right now. Now, all I said was one practice and then Barrett started shaking his head. Yeah. yeah well, I heard the same thing. Am I correct, Barrett? And I did, you know, and, and there you and, go. You- <laughs> Woo-wee. Woo-wee. So they're backing it up. They're basically saying we heard the same thing that he was ass in practice. Not 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 a game. Not 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 the game that I love. We talking about practice. I don't know. But you know, whenever there's problems in Philadelphia. It always brings a smile on my face. We'll definitely go into this in a little more detail tonight. I just can't wait till 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys join me there and have a great day. Cry, Eagles cry.